Hey Blam Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle, it's my car. But we're hopefully gonna go look at a jungle because I am at the garden. It's literally just called the garden. I'm in Woodbury, Connecticut, and I've never been here before. So, and it's just me. David's not here. So, like, something about this feels wrong, but it's also on my way up. So, it's only like 10 minutes off the parkway and then just like 10 minutes back to get back on up to David's from, from me. So, I wanted to stop because I've taken you guys to Dietrich a few times and this is owned by the same people and um they're supposed to have more house plants so let's go see what they have maybe they'll have some hoyas i don't know hoyas that i don't have i don't know i'm not anticipating necessarily buying anything but i'm excited to check it out and see what they got so let's go check it out this feels so weird by myself now you guys <laughs> so weird anyway I'm sorry that I didn't put my face on I woke up really early and stopped off to see my Grammy on my way up because I love my Grammy and I wanted to give her hugs and she made me corn muffins so it's fine all right <laughs> well, I love corn muffins in case anybody was wondering I like corn muffins all right let's go inside I feel really awkward doing this by myself again for some reason Ugh. You guys, this is so hard. Oh, I also showed my grandma how to find me on YouTube on her smartphone before, and it was really cute. She was really excited. She's like, I get to look at your face whenever I want to now. I'm like, oh, great. Anyway, let's go into the garden. I wrote that for you. You're welcome. Okay, fam, we are here at the garden. And it looks super cute. So we're just going to awkwardly talk into the camera and hope that they don't have copyright music going on in there. Cute little pumpkins. Oh my god, they have so many. Cute. Sucker for a gourd. Especially these weird ones. House plants. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's house plants. Oh. Wow, you guys. Okay. Okay. Look at these. <gasps> Gigantium. Holy crap, these are huge. 160. That's actually not even a bad price for this. with myself you guys <gasps> okay all right there's a um this is a philodendron right shangri-la no an epipremnum it's actually kind of cute i'm not gonna lie all right all right all right all right look at how cute this is you guys why have i never been here before this is like a dream 48 for these obovadas how much for the jade? Um, 42. Okay, okay, okay. Variegated string of hearts for 42 as well. Not bad prices. These are 22 for the Ruby Cascade. Okay, so far, so good with the prices. I don't know what to do with myself. <gasps> you guys. Some mirror face alocasia. 72. This is a homolamina selby. Right? For 39. 
these are cool. Cryptanthus. Elaine. What's up, Elaine? These are bromeliads. Um, so I don't really do those, but they're super pretty. I always forget the name of this alocasia. Dragon tooth. 48. Ooh, little baby jewel orchids. Super cute. 16. You guys, I don't know what to do with myself. 20 bucks for these philodendrons. Um, are these actually silver glory? They don't look like it. 36. Siltipicana. 32. This is a nice one. They all they all get straggly, so don't be shy. Chop it up. They propagate really, really, really easily. Like this is what mine always looks like, to be honest with you. It takes some work to get a bushy plant for that. 30 for the Sissus discolor. Some Cebu blue for 42. <laughs> Syndapsis, Exotica, also 42. You guys know this is one of my favorite plants ever. There's more Siltipicana, you guys, there's plenty here. If you need some, which you do if you don't have it. And then little baby ones. Cute, 24, good price. A little epipremnum enjoy or pearls and jade 15 I don't know that looks like enjoy that looks like pearls and jade so call it what you want to call it this is cool is this that like fishbone cactus what so cool even these golden pothos are like Super golden. 42. Really pretty. Some Brazil up here for 35. These are cool. You guys, what is this? I want one, but like a, a littler one. Lemon lime philodendrons. Regular. Oh, $9. Do you guys call these heterisium or cordatum? Because I'm confused. I see them called both, and I don't know what the difference is between them. I guess I could Google it, but I don't really want to. Marble Queen for 11, also one of my favorites. This Euphorbia is, what? What are you? How much are you, 17? I feel like David would love this, honestly. There's like a little baby one over here. Do you guys think he'd be mad at me if I brought him a plant and didn't ask him if he wanted it? This one has babies coming off of it. What? All right, well, we might have to just get one without his approval. Um, there's goldie eyes over here that I didn't see. 30. Super cute. I wish I had room for one, but I genuinely do not, unfortunately. And then I saw this Heperomia. Is this the species from, what did Karen say, Ecuador? 15? No, that one's like ripply. What is this? What species is this? I don't know. There's some Polyboitras blooming. <laughs> Super cute. Regular watermelons. Don't know what this is. We don't do these anyway, so like I don't know the names. 14. Obtusifolias. I cut the blooms off of mine because they're not very exciting and they just kind of take energy from the plant. Some little altissimas for 13. Definitely need to be up potted. Need to be in something deeper. Pretty bird of paradise. More ficus. You guys know I love ficus. Why? I feel like they're super underrated. 18. Like, look at how beautiful these leaves are. I'm gonna have to do a video on all my favorite plants that I think are underrated. 
Let me know if you would watch that. My Taneki, I love too. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I get that some people struggle with them. I did too until I figured out how to keep them happy. And they're just happy in a regular environment. No extra humidity, nothing. 18 for these pink dragons. Ooh, look at this new leaf. New leaf is really pretty coming in. Okay, bambinos that aren't very little anymore. 19. Very cute. And look at these big macrophyllas. Macrophylla latifolia. It's technically a latifolia now, but it's fine. <laughs> These do not water. You could definitely overwater these pretty easily, but they can use a sip when the leaves bend like this. It means they're thirsty. We want to check ones at the base. See, those are thirsty. You always want to check leaves at the base of the plant as well as further down on the vines because sometimes these might be more flimsy than these, if that makes sense. You definitely don't want to overwater this Hoya. It will rot. Little baby Curtisiae's for 48. This is a really full basket, so that's not a bad price for this at all if you're looking because they're kind of a pain in the butt to root. I'm not gonna lie to you. But once you get them established and growing, they grow like crazy. Like over the period of a year, this will more than double in size if you have it in ideal conditions and my favorite part of these is when they sun stress they kind of turn pink on the back of the leaves you guys know i love curtisia it's one of my favorites zz ravens looking cute over here and then look at this australis lisa you guys this is huge absolutely huge how much is it 48 okay that's a little bit much but it is massive, so not completely unreasonable. It's Australis in these huge hanging baskets. 56. More goldie eyes here. I just really love these leaves. And then look at this pubic helix, you guys. It's so splashy. This is what I was saying before in another video i love that when they get sun stress the splash turns pink so cute um i don't know how much it is out here 59 that's not bad at all for this huge plant another one that i think is super underrated string of hearts looking all cute like this 26 that's a good price some little baby Hoyas. It's the Royal Hawaiian Purple, I think. Regular Australis. How much are these little ones? 19. Oh, snap. Look at this one. <laughs> and then the Latifolia for 27. That's not a bad price either. Unfortunately, I have all of these. All of them. There's some Wayetti eyes over there. Cebu Blue. 35 that's not a bad price for this huge hanging basket There's some queens up here for 62 carry eye leaves that will probably die but they're pretty for a little while hindu rope here 25 this way eye is beautiful mine always look like this legitimately do you see that See all the little mealies? Hold on. Hmm. There you go. Or maybe that's just waxy damage, but that looks like maybe it is just wax. Because the, the leaves themselves. When I see it on new growth like that, I always think it's mealies. They're always on my way at the eye, and I don't know why. They get in that little like crevice of the new leaf comes in like a taco pisses me off. This Curtisia is 71. I would get the smaller one, honestly, and let it grow if it was me. 71 for these big hanging baskets. Okay, okay. Look how weird these leaves come in. Oh, they're so cool. 
You see that? It's so cool. Okay, so these are definitely so far my favorite of the day. But we don't know yet. I saw some rare plants up there. Look at this Cebu Blue. <gasps> Starting to get fennies, you guys. Look at it. Oh man, that's the dream right there. I love this plant. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Okay, okay, we're getting distracted. Oh, vanilla orchid. I love these. Mine died. The thrips just like literally took it out in a day. 27. I have to get one of those. But I wanted to look at the Mikans first. First of all, this setup is adorable, is it not? These Nepenthes are massive. There's a handful of Mikans over here. Um, some pothos. I'm just trying to find a price on them. 31 without having to move them. Okay, I did leave out some hanging brandies up there. I didn't see before, and the peperomia. Pudiolata, I forget to look up sometimes. These are 32. This is a pretty accurate description, depiction, oh, I can't talk, of uh, what it'll look like when you bring it home. Unless you have like a greenhouse or a grow tent. Ficus umbellata. Ficus. 15. Anthurium superbum. 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 Superbum? I don't know. 39. Anthurium fingers. Padato. Radiatum. Radiatum. I don't know. 30 for that. Mine is just like really not a happy camper and I'm thinking I'm just gonna get rid of it. So if anybody wants it 24 for these brandies. How much were those ones over there? Can't remember It's fine. Everything's fine. I would get the little one though if you really wanted one Just keep in mind that like <laughs> it's not gonna stay looking like this They never do and if you keep yours happy, please tell us your secrets there's some Maranta over here, some Sissus Amazonica, 30. These are beautiful, I love these. I got mine from the other location. Some more Syndapsis here. Doo -doo -doo. How much are you? 32. <laughs> Not meant to rhyme. Some Tranescantia Nanook for 20. I have a hard time keeping mine looking good for some reason. She just wants to be leggy and brown and not cute. So I'm kind of over it. Some Sable Blue here. Oh, from Emma's. 24 never go wrong when it's from Emma's. 32 for this Exotica. Just regular Exotica, making sure it wasn't Splash. And then there's some Argyreus. Four. Mm, 15. Some Birkins. I have a few of those that I'm getting rid of too. 25 for this Bonnie. Chlorophytum. Ugh, I need water. Some ferns over here. We don't do those. I do like these like lacy ones, but um, they die, so we don't do that. Touch of sperma over here. Some big girl leaves. For 32. Some Adansoni eyes. Unmistakably Adansoni eyes for 21. Goldfish <laughs> plants. We used to have many chickens and then we lost them in a storm about a month ago. And so now we're starting again. Oh God, yes, they are really cute. As soon as they're... Hi, little babies. Oh, they're ready. Oh, so cute. 
Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> yeah, they just arrived yesterday. Really? Yep. Well, you're squishing each other. So nice. Hi. No, we cannot take Bobby. I will take that Super cute. They're so fluffy. I'm not sure where they're from. They're so fluffy. Hi. You're so fluffy. I think this is the one my friend sent me versus like the regular one. Now I can see that the foliage is actually much darker. The black gold goldfish plant. It's cute. Not mad about it. Got distracted by baby chickens. 15 for these hanging philodendrons. More sissus. We looked at these. I always miss something though. Like always. So. These sedums are stunning. Oh, I see a painted lady. Let's see how much this is though. Don't touch them. 72. Maybe mine will look like that one day if I just never touch it. So, okay. This is the same one they have over there the Panati Perita for 140. Painted Lady for 140. This is a big one. She's beautiful. Pink Princess from Emma's. 99. It's not a bad price. I just bought one. It looks like it's reverting though, so like, I wouldn't be charging that much for it. Raphidophora decursiva for 40, no, 50. Girl, you need to eat something. It's, it's past my lunch time. Oh, 100 for this one though. This one's beautiful. And just more of these. Some cute succulents and stuff over here. And these are nice. Some variegated like agave or something. String of turts. 27. String of nickels, coins, whatever you want to call them. 44 for the big one. 33 for the little one. Some cute little succulents here. Pickles. Oh, speaking of pickles, you guys, I murdered mine. <laughs> Looking for another one that's just like one. RIP Pickle Rick. Some lithops over here. One is blooming. I'm standing in fire sticks, it's fine. Cute. All right, I need to go over everything again because I probably missed something. I don't know. I feel like I need to get one of these. I also feel like he's going to get mad at me if I do. Maybe I'll send him a photo and see how he reacts. <laughs> now, oh, here is something I missed, the philodendron Adam. The lettuce looking one. 20. More model queens back there. Oh, here's that variegated fern type thing that I saw in Home Depot one time, and I was like, wait, <laughs> oh, what? It's really pretty. I don't like ferns, but this one is really pretty. If I could keep one alive, I would get it. And I think I saw stuff back here that I missed. Yeah, houseplants, 50% off. Okay. Okay, there's some string of spades, arrows they call them, um, 42, 42 for those, 
some alocasia, louder bacchiana, louder bacchi something for 18. Okay, these ones are on sale. Okay, this is cute. What are you? Something, something, splash. I don't know. It's a cute little orchid, though. It's super cute. Sad pear plants. Sad orbifolia and a bunch of other calatheas. Like, that's not a surprise. Some African violets. It's brever, breverim, breverimosa. Ugh. Not for sale. It doesn't look like it is, but um, I'm looking a little sad. But it's got new growth. Good thing about those types of begonias, you just cut them and they'll come right back. So these are a few other maybe like sad plants. I don't know. I don't know. Skipped over these. David has a little one of these. It's fuzzy. They put out those like crazy blooms. I think they call them lifesaver cactus. 39. I'm also considering getting this orchid, but I don't know anything about it. <laughs> it's just really cute. <laughs> Do I need it? Uh, no. But it's cute and it's on sale. So I don't know. Help a sister out. Also, these Zenzies over here, I forgot to show you. Super cute. Little babies for 21. That place was super cute. I didn't buy a plant. That's a Hoya that I'm bringing to David. I was very tempted to get that orchid. I was very tempted to get the vanilla orchid as well, but I decided not to because I have a friend that's sending me a cutting of vanilla orchid. I have a cutting that's rooting in water that's left over from my dead plant. And the other one, <laughs> even though it was really cute, like I just, I don't need it. But if I change my mind, like I can always just come back and get it. They were really sweet. That place was stunning. The prices were exactly where they should be for most of the plants, so. If you're in the Woodbury, Connecticut area, definitely recommend visiting the garden. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this and help support my channel, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me, I don't know. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me muffin emojis. There's got to be a muffin emoji, you guys. I need to like study the emojis so I know which ones to tell you. My grandma made me muffins. She's so cute. Leave me muffin emojis in honor of my grandma because she's adorable and we love Grammy. So thank you for watching this video, you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.